to RCJC USA. Today I'm going to demonstrate a DIY uh, battery drainer for LiPo batteries. The reason why I came up with this is that uh, most of the time we go to the field thinking of flying multiple jets and all of a sudden you realize uh, there are a lot of gusty wind and sometimes you come home with fully charged batteries. So um, last week I did the same thing actually. I went with 10 batteries and when I went to the field I could not fly at all. There was a gusty crosswind and it's all over the place. So I came home with 10 batteries fully charged. So I was not planning to go back for another week or so. So I can't keep the batteries fully charged because it's not good for the battery. So you have to drain the battery to the storage capacity, that means 3.8 volt per cell. So normally we use our chargers to drain, uh, which take hours. For example, in my case, I tried with one of the chargers that I have. I have a few, month, few chargers, like different types. Uh, each took about at least five hours to drain. Um, so it's pretty painful when you have uh, high capacity uh, batteries like six cells and uh, if you have to drain all of them. So I had one of these before I made it but I thought okay I'm going to uh, do it better and, and I have been using one for about three and a half years uh, because of the same reason. Um, uh, so let me explain to you um, how to do it yourself. So First of all, you have to find something like this. I think from any hobby shop you can find uh, well, either wood or steel uh, kind of box where you can drill holes. So that, that is the most important thing. So you should be able to drill holes using your drill. And, um, and there are a few items to buy. Uh, I'm going to list them out, uh, you can see on the screen. Um, uh, let me go by the item list. So first of all, um, let me go with the the beeper. So uh, these are small units that you can buy uh, very cheap uh, from Amazon or anywhere else. So uh, you can basically set the timer. Um, for example, uh, I can connect this to my battery here and uh, let me, so it's going to show you what is the voltage I have right now. So I can set so it's already already beeping because it's 3.78 percent so you can by pressing there's a small button there so you can press it and set it to the voltage that you need to be so once any of the cells come down up to that voltage it will start beeping so you need one of them for each battery basically so since I have eight I have a couple of them already bought and uh, I'm using them so you need that I call them beeper so <laughs> speak very loud and you need a bulb so when it's come to bulb I'm going to uh, show that on the screen you have to buy the bulb because when you full charge the battery it produces 25.2 watts so you can't just buy a bulb like this with one filament normally it's 12 volt so it's going to burn because we are giving 25 wall for 20 or uh, 12 volt bulb so it's going to burn so you have to buy a special one that is called signal and break both together there are two filaments uh, you can see the close-up on the screen there are two filaments and you can see the back side there are two connectors so basically there are three connectors one is the common and there are positive two connectors so you need to buy those and also mindful of the voltage. So the, these things are actually 14 volt to 12.8. So each, each filament will take up to 12.8, which is pretty good for us because um, full charge battery, we have about 25.20 volt and this is more than 25, so which is good. So that is what we want exactly. So when it's full charge, we can just uh, uh, connect to the bulb and it will not burn because we are going to connect both the filaments at the same time. So I'll show you how to connect it, uh, but make sure when you buy, you buy two filament bulb. I'll put the details on the, on the screen and, um, and it's called signal and break together. 
So that's one item. So let me put it back. And then you need the, the socket for that. The socket also you can buy online. Make sure you buy one with three wires, not two wires, because we have three connectors. So one for the common, that means for the frame, actually common, and then two wires for the two connectors in the bulb. So if you uh, check the close up on the screen, you can see clearly there are two wires connected to these two connectors which goes to the bulb. And um, that's one item. The other item that I have is obviously these connectors. So since I have varieties of battery types, I have EC5, XT90 and also T, T plug so that I can have any other uh, uh, jacks connected to any of these. So I have varieties of types. So you need all kind of, you can buy all these things online and then solder it properly. Make sure that you don't short circuit and solder it properly uh, to the wire here. It's very easy to do that. So if you can solder any wire, it's simple as that. And, uh, and the other one that I did, you can see the black kind of a round, uh, it's not blue actually, it's coal, steel sticks. So I bought this from Home Depot and um, I just put them around the bulb so that it's solid, steady, because otherwise when you drill a hole and try to plug this one, and it's always a bit flimsy. So once you put uh, this um, steel stick around it, and it's solid, so it's keep it steady. So um, that's why I put them. So it's kind of, yeah, it's very solid now, it doesn't move. So, so you need that as well. So I put all the items on the screen so that you know what to buy. Okay, just to start a bit, um, once you get your socket, uh, since we are going to connect uh, the bulbs um, or the filaments together, we don't need the common wire, which is the blue color one uh, connected to the frame. So not to these two connectors, remember. And, uh, and we had to get rid of that wire. And when you cut it, make sure you cut it from the starting point and we don't want any wires just hanging around. So just try to remove it from the, the bottom, the, where the starting point, um, as much as you can go in and get rid of it. And then you don't need this blue color wire, which is the one connected to my frame here. So whatever the socket that you buy, whatever the color that comes with, make sure the one that connected to the socket frame, the common wire, you have to get rid of that. So we are going to connect our wires for each battery uh, to both the connectors uh, in the behind of the, the, uh, the bulb. So that is very important. And um, uh, when you solder these uh, wires to each of these uh, connectors, make sure they are solid and does not come out easily and also does not get short circuited. Uh, before you do anything, uh, make sure it's, it's electrical things and always get short circuited, fire hazardous and take all the precautions because um, if you short circuit, it will catch fire. So now this is very safe. I have been using one of these things for many years. So I don't think there's an issue of um, building one of these yourself. Uh, it's difficult and it's very useful. And um, let me know if you need any more help on this. Um, as I mentioned, it's very easy to uh, work on this and you can plug multiple uh, batteries like what I'm doing right now. See, I connect this guy and then I can connect the other one and just, you know, then plug your beeper and make sure it beeps 
at 380 so you know when to disconnect it so everything will be uh, okay and this is not an item that you can just plug in and go away so make sure you are around always because um, like any other battery charger you have to pay attention to these sort of things so because you're draining battery power but it doesn't get heated up and uh, it's very soft discharge because it doesn't drain the battery the way that we drain the batteries when we fly because it takes only five minutes to drain one of these fully charged 6s battery when you when you fly but it, this might take about um, less than an hour kind of thing so yeah so you have to take all the precautions be around to watch it uh, i mean you connect it to the vehicles but uh, yeah so that's about it um, nothing complicated, but I hope this will help you in the future to drain your batteries safe and uh, properly uh, to the storage voltage uh, sooner than using a battery uh, charger. Thank you, and if you like my video, just uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, I'm planning to put some more things that I come up with to help you guys out. Thank you.